Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Warren Guru. Some call me Loki Bunny, and I am here just to kind of have like this discussion in regards to, well, the Deadpool film that I created, and I uh, just want to kind of give you a little bit behind the scenes um, on some of my uh, ideas um, and basically new foundations within this new AI space. So. Um, just to kind of give you a little background of myself, I come from a film background. I graduated with a film and bachelor's degree in film. And, um, I've always been that person who was super interested in special effects, never really had the time and patience for it, but was really interested in it. It was actually part of my first, you know, journeys of my getting my degree was getting into that special effects department, then to eventually switch off into um, full on editing and hands on work like cinematography. But the game has changed now because we are in a world where we can actually create with prompts, with text to prompts and AI generations. And with that mixed in with the world of editing, along with all the other things that, you know, was taught to me and the previous experiences that I've had is made it like having like a Thanos uh, in your hands. Like anything that you could simply think of can be created along with the type of editing techniques that will essentially create a story to, um, to p other people. And so I created this film in the spirits of just it being super funny. My, the last film that I saw literally in theaters was Deadpool. I kid you not. And I went to go see this movie, not because I was just such a fanatic Deadpool guy, honestly, but just because, just because my son, who is a freshman in high school, um, you know, he's always in his room playing video games. And I wanted to get, a, get him out of the room and, you know, have some father-son time with him. And so we went to go see Deadpool. And so I was already, you know... Um, I was already um, up to date as far as who, who Deadpool was and his background and story, his characteristics, his mannerisms. My wife is a Marvel fan. And so going back and seeing it was a definitely a refresh. And I just figured, hey, let me just take it to another level, you know, and and um, let me try to do my best of my abilities to kind of mix in the world of crypto and meme coins along with it and, you know, make it like a journey. And so the whole idea with this film was to honestly to start it off with it being just like a 30 second to one minute test. It started off being just that. Honestly, I never had any intentions whatsoever on it being like a 12 minute film. But as I started getting cooking and I started to create more and more things, such as more scenes and, to, you know, collages. And for me, I like to use sound as specifically with music as transitional points when it comes to my work. So if I get inspired um, and then, you know, I simply use these points to be creative, essentially, I guess, you know. So, yeah, with that being said, um. Deadpool came alive and that one scene after the other, I found myself in a world of just different things. Like, let me bring R. Kelly into this. Let me do this. Let me do that. And so um, I really try to stay kind of true in a sense to the, the humor of Deadpool, but at the same token, bring my light of dark comedy along with a little bit of, um, you know, crypto nuance with it. So it was a funny, very fun uh, uh, test for me. Also, due to the fact that this was the early stages of me being, um, you know, an AI filmmaker, so to speak. I mean, not, I mean, I don't like that terminology, AI filmmaker. I'm a filmmaker in general. It just so happens that AI is now available as a tool set to use to create these wonderful pieces of art that doesn't take too much time to create when it comes to. Um, the rendering process i mean this time in general when it comes to technology is absolutely phenomenal it's on another level and so uh, with that being said i wanted to i guess give hollywood a shake you know this whole idea was kind of making fun of hollywood in a sense in a joyful kind of play for a manner and I want to give a Hollywood run for the money to know that as in a day, there's guys like me that literally have these computers on room and can literally cook out something that's just as funny and possibly um, even funnier than someone spending 
millions of dollars on um, a particular project. And, you know, you have to think, you know, with these particular projects, they're out there. They're actually with different sets. There are different um, crews. There's, you know, lighting guys. There is, you know, all types of work that goes into bringing these films together. And so to be able to streamline this process all across the board and get right to the editing booth is simply game changing and phenomenal. And then another thing is I use Deadpool because he's got a mask, you know, and at the moment, the, the lip syncing um, ability to be able to have that back and forth conversation was still new. I'm still in the process of kind of getting that to be completely like, you know, believable in a human nature sense. Ideally, I don't want people to look at this and say it's AI. I want people to say, oh, this is a cool film. And I think we're getting there. We're getting there to the point where. Um, slowly but surely, uh, people will not have any idea if it's real or not, you know, depending on that editor and or depending on, you know, that person, that filmmaker behind the scenes that wants to tell that story. And so with that being said, um, hopefully you guys love this film. It's something that I enjoyed and I put a lot of effort into. And with that being said, uh, hopefully you guys um, um, like it. And yeah, I'm Warren. I'm Warren Guru and aka Loki Bunny. You guys have a wonderful, blessed day. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.